This is a video summary of the standard operating procedure for surgical scrub, gowning and gloving in the Dental Institute. When undertaking any procedures within an operating theatre environment, appropriate theatre blues must be worn, along with appropriate theatre clogs. Face masks and eye protection are important. The face mask should cover the nose and mouth. If you need to open your own gown prior to scrubbing, do so by opening the outer wrap first and then carefully open the inner wrap to avoid touching the inside of the wrap or the gown. Once opened, you will need to drop your sterile gloves onto the inner wrap next to the gown. You will then need to prepare for your surgical scrub by opening the scrub brush prior to wetting your hands and place it on the side. Ensure the water runs at a comfortable hand hot temperature and steady flow to avoid undue splashing. For your pre-scrub, Wash your hands and arms to the elbows with running water and antimicrobial solution. Use the seven step method. Firstly rub palm to palm. Rub the back of each hand with the palm of the other hand with fingers interlaced. Rub with backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlaced. Rub each thumb clasped in opposite hand using rotational movement. Rub tips of finger in opposite palm in a circular motion. Using a rotational movement, rub from the wrist to the elbow of each arm. Then rinse from fingertips to elbow. Once the elbow has been reached, the hand must not go back to the other hand or wrist until after rinsing. Next, remove debris from under nails using a nail pick under running water. Ensure that you do each nail in turn and methodically. There is often debris hidden under the nails which is not visible, but which the nail pick will find. Step two is the scrub procedure. This will take three minutes. Wet your hands and forearms and apply approximately 5 ml of antimicrobial solution. Working from your fingertips down to just below your elbows, use the same 7 step method that you used for the pre-scrub. Rinse your hands and arms from the fingertips to the elbows, allowing the water to flow to remove the scrub solution. Pick the scrub brush up. Wet and apply 5 ml of solution to the brush side and use to scrub your nails only for 30 seconds per hand. Dispose of the brush, then rinse your fingertips. Apply another 5 ml of solution. Wash your hands and arms using the 7 step method, paying particular attention to palms, finger webs and dorsum of the hands. This time, only wash the first two thirds of the forearms and do not touch the elbows to avoid contamination. Wash for a further minute.
then rinse your hands and arms from the fingertips to the elbows, allowing the water flow to remove the scrub solution. Turn the taps off using your elbows and hold your elbows over the sink to allow excess water to drain. You will now need to dry your hands and arms. Use one towel per hand, open the towel, place one hand behind it and dry the opposite hand thoroughly by blotting the skin and using a corkscrew movement to dry from your hand to your elbow. Repeat with the other towel for the other arm. Do not return the towel to your dried hand and instead discard it into a waste bin. Pick up the gown from the inside surface and locate the armholes. Slide your arms into the armholes having stepped away from the trolley to avoid contamination. Your assistant will need to tie the gown at the back. You are then ready to place your gloves. Keep your hands within the sleeves of the sterile gown and draw the sterile glove pack towards you and turn it around. Open the pack so that the gloves are facing fingertips towards you. With one sleeve covered hand, grasp with the thumb and forefinger of the corresponding glove by the folded cuff edge, ensuring your thumb is aligned with the thumb of the glove. Using the other sleeve covered hand to grasp the uppermost edge of the glove's cuff, and stretch this over the back of your hand and straighten your fingers into the glove. Grasp both the glove cuff and the sleeve to pull the glove onto your hand. You will need to repeat this for the other hand. Make sure the gown cuffs are covered. The wraparound can be wrapped by the circulator by handing out the paper tag with the tie for the wrapped section attached. The circulator grasps the paper tag only and the scrub practitioner turns and then pulls the tie free and ties at the front of the gown. You should then keep your arms up and in front of you clasped 